The All Progressive Congress in Cross River State has begun mobilization for grassroots support and PVC collection in 3,281 polling units in the state. The state chairman of the party, Alfonso Eba, made this known on Thursday at a news conference in Calabar. He alleged that the opposition was destroying APC candidates' billboards and charged party members to exercise restraint and not to take laws into their hands. Well, joining us to discuss this tonight and shed more light uh, is Alfonso Eba. He is the APC chairman in Cross River State. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Chairman. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Great. Let's talk about this mobilization that the party has undertaken. And um, it's in at least 3,000 plus polling units within the state. Um, how has that process gone and why did you decide to undertake it? Okay, thank you very much. You, you will recall that when I came on board, I came with the mantra of political evangelism. And it was targeted towards winning souls into our party, the APC. Okay. And my target was to bring in one million fresh members into the party. And don't forget, Cross River State used to be a traditional PDP state. So the armless political revolution that happened on the 20th day of May 2021 led to the complete lobotomy of PDP. And so with the coming on board of all the new members of APC, there was need for us to widen the dragnet and bring in more people. And I commenced that evangelism on the 11th of November, 2021. As of today, we have over 1 million registered members. Interesting. So how will I change that kind of fit? And with the collection and registration of PVC almost coming to a close, I was again divinely inspired to embark on a holistic mobilization drive. And that was why I had to launch that drive. I am happy to announce to you that in consonance with Article 12.18, 19, 20, and 21 of our party's constitution, all the polling unit structure, the youth wing, the women wing, and the people living with disability wing, which we have constituted, have been working day and night in this PVC registration and proper mobilization for collection of those who had registered before now. Okay. The good news is that even when I started the first run in the fourth quarter of the registration, our registration jumped from 56,000 to the present 112,000 now. What we could not achieve in three sections or quarters, we have achieved double in the fourth quarter. Interestingly, I see that your, your um, movement is towards the grassroots, which is very interesting. Uh, but what happens to the people who live in the suburbs, the people who live in the main town, the people who are somewhat second class? Uh, what about them? Are they not also part of the drive? Because you see the average um, second class person is the one that parties should be targeting, even though we see that it's the grassrooters that actually show up on election day. So why target the grassrooters and forget about the guys who live in the cities? Well, it is holistic. It is not just targeted to the grassroots in the hinterland. We have 3,281 polling units in Kosovo State as of today. And this is scattered both in the urban and rural centers. So the launch of this, and don't forget, 
the Governor Ben Ayade's administration has a proper grassroots administrative structure where in every polling unit you have appointees of government, not less than five, that food is being put on their table every month, even for doing nothing. And so we came up with the idea. I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman, hold on. Yeah. How do you mean food is being put on their table even for doing nothing? Because yeah, I know you don't that there you don't are people who have work. complained that pensions, pensioners have not been Me paid. Too. There are people that Me are too. being old. So where is this food coming from and how is it happening? That's what I'm explaining to you. It's a social intervention program. It's a social intervention program to lessen the social tension in the community. So you don't even need to do any work. But in every community, you just have to come together, put five persons together, that drives, I mean, that derives nothing less than 30,000 naira from government. I am only telling you the partnership we are doing with this person that is giving us this result. We have gone to them and said, please, for this good thing that the government is doing for you, let us strengthen and increase the voting strength of Cross River State. So you're saying that the government of Cross River State. All you need to do for I, I, us in return. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. Down in the mobilization. I'm so sorry to talk over you. Are you saying that the government of Cross River State under Professor Ben Ayade is bribing people with 30,000 naira to register in their parties and then, of course, go and pick PVCs? Because this is what you're trying to I tell think, me. I think you are, getting, you are getting me wrong. Please explain. You are getting me wrong. You are getting me completely wrong. Okay. I am telling you the army of young men and women that we are partnering with. They have been so engaged since seven years now. And we only went to partner with them. I said, please, get involved in this mass mobilization. So what they do extra is to take the little they make from government to fund the polling unit structure. That is why you can see the holistic effect of the work going on. I see. Let's talk about voter education, which is also a responsibility of political parties across the country, which you are a chairman of the APC. Um, aside from telling people to get their PVCs, are parties educating people on their rights? during the elections, before the elections, and after the elections? Is it just about telling them to go and vote for you on election day? Uh, what other parts of voter education is the APC in Cross River State engaging in, or engaging the people in? I, I didn't get that question very well. So I'm talking about voter education. It's not just INEC's job to educate the voters. It's also a responsibility of political parties across the country. And I'm asking you, as the party chairman, how much voter education is the APC in Cross River State doing for not just the young people, but every single person who holds a PVC and even those who are yet to get one? Is there any form of engagement of the people on what their rights are as voters? Of course. We have told that protesting this PVC is the right you have to choose the kind of leaders you want. If you are not satisfied with our performance, the only thing that gives you power to change us is this PVC. And when politicians come to you to make campaign promises, the only weapon you have to hold them to the actualization of those promises is your PVC. I women went as far as telling them that the Ayade Care Health Program that we are implementing in Cross River State, it will get to a point in time that if you do not have PVC, you cannot access the Medicare. So our people are now enlightened. And that is why you can see the rush in every registration center today. The crowd is always filled to capacity. 
And I want to use the opportunity to appeal to our next that we need to tinker with this one month grace. We must still look at thinking doing till August, possibly. Okay. Let me let's talk about the APC's internal democracy. Recently, um a former personal assistant to Mr. President Muhammad Buhari um, uh, on prosecution of Koyo Bonobla predicted that the APC um, in cross River State can suffer a massive defeat if elections are held in Nigeria today. I'd like to quote him directly. Obonobla, um, who was allegedly defeated during the con just concluded Cross River uh, Central Centurial primaries, made this prediction in a statement that he released. He emphasized, and I quote, if elections are held today, the party will surely suffer a massive defeat. Aggrieved aspirants, angry with the callous and vicious manner, um, um, the potentate and his conquering army manipulated the primaries. I'm sure he's talking about the party and Mr. Um, Mr. Governor. He's saying that there are several lawsuits against the party in the state, and these people are seeking for redress. He says these plethora of lawsuits were filed by aggrieved aspirants of the APC panel, set up to hear complaints arising from the primaries, but they failed to hear these complaints. I always say this, a house that's divided against itself, can it stand? And if the APC is going against not just the PDP now, we have the Labour Party, and recently many of uh, some of your um, your party members have moved, I hear, allegedly to the, AP, to the Labour Party. If you must be able to win in the 2023 elections, is your house in order? I can barely hear you. All right, so I'll ask again. I'll ask you again. Is the APC's house in order? Mm. Obonobla is saying that if, the, if elections were to hold today in Cross River State, the APC will be defeated thoroughly. And he's saying that that's because the committee that was put together to address grievances of party members and even those who lost elections has not been able to address any of the issues. Can you speak on that? That I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Can that you? if election is held today across the state, everything will fail? Yes. Is, is that what you ask? Yes, that's what Obono Obla is saying. And he's saying that this is because the issues within the party have not been addressed. And I'd like to hear your thoughts. Mr. Barista, Okoy Obla is a very respected member. He ran election recently and lost in the primary. I know, perhaps, he is still not a very happy man, yes. That statement, I can assure you, was made in anger. It does not represent a reality. I try not to speak. I like acting. Nobody believes we're going to win the Kojayala by election. We won. When I told everybody, that we won in Akpavio State constituency. But the areas where we won, there was violence that erupted. And that we're going to get it at the tribunal. So they have been vindicated. 1,700 and something votes were invalidated. And the tribunal had given an order for the withdrawal of the certificate of return that was issued to the PDP candidate. APC is a party to bring itself in this state. If election is to hold today, APC will win. I am aware that when people contest elections and lost out, there is every tendency for them to be angry. Okay. It was the realization of that fact. Because we're out of time, because we're out of time, our time is far spent. Quickly. Only last week on Monday. I had to put a reconciliation and peace building committee okay. that is already working on all this. And we hope that there will be proper reconciliation and the family will be united again. Well, I we want will to... always win.
I want to say thank you. Uh, Mr. Alfonso Eba is the chairman of the All Progressive Congress in River State. Uh, we're hoping that all frayed nerves will be calmed. Um, for Cross River State, I beg your pardon. Thank you so much, Mr. Eba, for speaking with thank us. You. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you very much. All right. Well, that's it on Plus Politics tonight. Uh, no thanks to the connections, but we hope that you had a, a great time with us tonight. We'll be back tomorrow talking for development and bringing you the biggest political stories across the country. I'm Mary Anna Cohn. Have a good evening.